And now it's time for the episodes that I love to record and people hate to watch. The side quest episodes! Hey guys, it's Color Farty's back for more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So, we are gonna go around with Rogue Port and do a lot of side quests today. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. That's a must. Right here. Contact lens. An aid for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? I'm gonna need 10 coins for that contact lens. You wanna buy it, fella? Yep. Thanks, fella. Only 10 coins. That's not bad at all. Hey, Zesty. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Yep. A contact lens! Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. So if we go in after her... Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. stomp -a -Lot? Well, my name is Zest-T. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? Yes, please. What ingredients do you want me to cook with? Let's start by just cooking a mushroom. Doodle-dee-doo-da! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but... Go on. Take it, Stompy. And we get a Shroom Fry, a tasty dis dish made by Zest-T. Replenishes 6 HP and 2 FP. Slightly better than a mushroom. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? So on one hand, I really like the new cooking animations and all the cool sounds and anim uh, that go with it. But on the other hand, it takes longer to cook stuff now. Alright, what else do I have in here? Let's cook up a honey syrup. Yes, I will be trying to get all the recipes in this one. Actually, not trying. I'll definitely get all the recipes in this one, uh, much like I did in the first game. And the nice thing about this, you can see the recipes. Sorry to keep you waiting. And we get a fresh juice. Juice made by ZST refills 5 FP and cures poison. So very ever so slightly better than honey syrup because it cures poison. All right, one more thing. Cook a fire flower. I love it when that happens. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on. And we get a spicy soup. Yummy soup made by Zest-T. Replenishes 4 HP and 4 FP. Yeah, if you use non-edible ingredients, they'll make that <laughs> sound <laughs> at the stove. It's great. Hooktail of Petal Meadows defeated by Brave Hero. Must have been a tough guy. You know it. Graffiti Corner. While looking for badges in Hooktail's castle, I ran into a spiffy mustached fellow. The heart-stealing thief. That was the mouse we ran into. And this guy wasn't here earlier. Hey, 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 oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the fevered look of a man with a mind for goods. Want to buy something? What do you got? All right. Shooting star, slow go, timing tutor, and double pain. So this is the badge that I would have equipped for the entire playthrough had I been doing a double pain playthrough. Not going to buy that. Uh, slow go makes you slow, which is bad. Not great stuff, honestly. Maybe I'll come back to that. He changes his stuff every time you move to a different world, essentially. Actually, now that we've beaten the first area, we should be able to go to the Trouble Center now. This is where pretty much all the side quests happen. Instead of the Koopa Koot favors, you get the Trouble uh, Request Center. So, through here. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them for you first. Need an explanation? Yeah, I'll let him do it. Then listen and listen good. The Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check the bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll shoot someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? 
But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. And you can only help one person out at a time, which is a bit unfortunate. So here's a list of side quests. Let's do Garf. They call me Garf. I have lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back of East Rogueport. Want to take on Garf's trouble? Yes. Do it and do it right. So Garf is right here. You took on my trouble? You? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get into my house. So I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. That's Garf, part of the Robo gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on looks. Thank you, Goombella. Also, check out the footprints leading through this crack in the wall. Now that we've got the sideways ability. Sneak our way through here. And we're in the back. If you've come all the way here, you must have seen some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. Really. And star piece up there. And star piece back here. Who are you? What do you want, chump? If you ain't got business here, then beat it. That's Ishnail, leader of the thief band called the Robos. He really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? He looks like a squirrel, even though he's a Koopa. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating? Oh, that's Gus. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all win. Oh. Sorry, Gus. But not really, because you were extorting people. And you had to be taught a lesson. Nothing else we can do back here yet. So. Alright, let's help out Garf. He lost his key over by the bad shop, and I want to go to the bad shop and pay a visit anyways. I also want to make sure I don't spend a whole lot of money, but... Alright, his key's up here. You got a house key! A key to a house. Whoever lost it likely needs it back. And the bad shop is now officially open. Hey, dude. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. A big welcome to you! Welcome to the lovely house of badges! Welcome! So, what can I do for you? So you can actually sell badges in this. Because there are some badges that you can get multiple copies of. Such as HP+, Plus or a lot of other stuff. Don't sell your one-of-a-kind badges, though. Come again. So, let's see. For sale, you've got Super Appeal, which gets more star power when Mario appeals. Happy Flower, which slowly and automatically restores FP during battle. Last Stand P drops the damage your ally takes in half when in danger. I think we got that in Hooktail's Castle. Close Call P, when your ally's in danger, causes foes to sometimes miss. FP Drain drops Mario's attack power by one, but regain one FP per attack. Decent assortment, but none I really want. That makes things easier. Because there's a really big amount of money I want to spend in Rogueport today. If there were some really good badges available for sale, I would have bought one, but... Oh, wait. Yeah. Garf, I'm sorry, you're over here. Can I open his house? Yeah. Yes! My key! I can finally get inside my house again! Home sweet home! Thank you! Oh, that's not his voice. Please take this as payment for all your efforts, alright? We get 20 coins! You solved the trouble. What's Garf's house like? Nice digs, man. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. Thanks, Garf. He's nice. Alright, so now Garf's trouble has been saved, has been done. So, let's go to McGoomba. This is McGoomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. 
Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. He was that Goomba who was, yeah, who was like sh uh, hiding in the back. He was like, I've got, I've, got, I've got to confess, I'm a criminal. <laughs> and it's like, why did you just tell me that? Actually, I'm not even sure if the jumping makes you go all that faster. Here he is. You never know who will be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. And we get a box! The Fiend McGoomba asks you to deliver it to Goomfree. Anything else on there? No. Oh, I don't really need the Cricket Badge equipped. Also, I'm gonna sort these by types. This'll make it, uh, this'll sort your badges the way they were sorted in Paper Mario 1, and I like that. I like things to be organized. Hey guys, I'm delivering a secret package for McGoomfer. McGoomfer, I think it's just Goomfer. Yeah, that's him. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll tell you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. What did I just transport for these guys? Am I, like... Trafficking illicit substances, because that's not cool. That's something I never thought I'd say, let alone in a let's play. Did you deliver it? Whew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. We get 20 coins, and we solved the trouble. We have 238 coins. That's amazing. All right. Oh, that reminds me. We can go to the West Rogueport now. I never even showed that off. <laughs> Whoops! Stupid old myself. So West Rogueport's a little nicer. Even if it is still very run down. Hey kid, my dad's writing a novel, but it'll never sell. It's terrible. What? Ouch! That's not very nice. Grr, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I need to go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write. Or something. Sorry, dude. That can't be easy. Also, your son doesn't like your novel, which is a shame. Alright. Hey, dude. Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. That's kind of true, and that's also sad. Star piece back there. boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny and I'll toss you like that. Okay. Oh, hey, giant fat bob -omb. dum da da dum da doo Every day's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, the lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more. That's the way. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers. They might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number's sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number. Only 10 coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 coins? I just say, you want to buy one, because at the very least, if you don't win, he gives you a free mushroom. Every time. So, you essentially, after two days, you get your money's worth. Oh, happy! Thank you! Here's your number. You get a lottery pick! A lottery ticket from Lucky's Booth. Your number is 2817. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot! Play Lucky and Happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you've won. Happy Lucky Lottery Board! All right, the second prize. Let's see, today's winning number is 2470. Nope. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. 
Oh, we get a mushroom, and we can't even keep it in our inventory. I'll throw away the mini, Mr. Mini. It's honestly not great. Come again tomorrow. A new day, a new chance! That's Lucky, who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating... Well, just be careful, Mario. Yeah. You don't want to cheat. Star piece back there. This is the Ever Shop in Rogueport. Nicer stuff, but also it's more expensive. As you can see, we got life shrooms here, but there are 50 coins. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm just checking points. Right now you have one point, sweetie pie. Yeah, yeah. Can't go back there. It looks like a door, but it's actually just part of the wall. Beyond to parlor. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I am here all day. What? My husband is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't know what anyone else does. Oh, that's not good. Hey, how you doing? What, me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want to know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. Psst. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and you get those prizes. Hello, you. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario. Like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Okay. You can trade in the piantas you've won for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. So basically, here's how the Pianta Parlor works. Like, uh, there's a second currency in the game called Piantas. You can buy them with coins, but they're very expensive. Or also, you can play games here and win more Piantas. So for example, Cake Mix, this is the only place you can get Cake Mix. And as you can see, you can also get Super Appeal and Refund. You can get an unlimited amount of these prizes. Like, if I buy Super Appeal, then it'll regrow. Like, you can get an unlimited amount. I have no Piantas. I'm not going to play. I can't even play any games so anyways. Okay. Oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. But I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I, I'll be here until tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Also, there's this little hatch here. We can fall down if we turn sideways. Alright, so this is an interesting part of Rogueport. Or the Rogueport sewers, rather. Yep, star piece. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. That probably won't be important later or anything. Say, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Ha! I get it. You're a wanted man above ground and can't be seen in town, eh? Huh? No? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. So, yep, this is kind of the hustle and bustling place of Underground Report. Please be a badge. Don't be an item. It's soft, it's not badge. Execute superbly to make enemies soft. And it, making an enemy soft basically means that their defense gets lowered. One of those newfangled terms for Paper Mario Faz in your door. Gotta look everywhere for those star pieces. Hey, how come he that guy's on How come that guy is on that side of the fence now? That's not cool. Hey dude. Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. You know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go nuts, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you've jumped onto an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. I sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. I mean, it doesn't sound hard. No. What's in this house? Oh, hey, hey you. Howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You'd better believe me. And who knows, the stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. 
<laughs> Something you want to ask of old wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about what's hidden below. No. Definitely not. I know stuff too. Seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls. Because no one tells me! Okay, dude. This is a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb T's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. That's the cola bar owner, Herb T. He's a middle-aged guy with a wild mustache. He may look like just another glass polisher, but he's an old-school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's heard his share of super depressing stuff, too. He didn't seem that hilarious. That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks nuts, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure you get your money's worth. Not that you'll know until you pay. That's true. And yet a third shop in Rogueport. This one's very interesting, because everything's ex incredibly expensive. So we've got slow shrooms, which gradually restore your HP instead of just restoring it all at once, which is actually pretty terrible. Gradual syrup, which does the same thing, just with FP. Ultra shrooms, which is 50 HP, like best health restoring item in the game. Jam and jelly, 50 FP. Then gold bar, and then gold bar times free. These, the only purpose for gold bars is to basically have an efficient way of storing money if you have more than 999 coins. So if you have 999 coins and you're like, I don't want to buy anything, but I also don't want to lose the money, you can buy these and basically store them as items. You can't sell them back for as much, though, so I see no point in doing it. Maybe that's just me, though. Anyhow. If we go down here, oh. You remember these buck teeth guys? Except now these guys have spikes on their head. Ooh, oh, no. That is a Thunder Rage. Hey, Luigi's in the audience. How about that? Alright, let's tattle on the Spania. That's a Spania. A Spinia with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. Max HP is free, attack is 1, defense is 0. So sort of the same as a Spinia. You want to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Why did he not use the Thunder Rage? Now, now he's using the Thunder Rage. Ouch. Well, that was a jerk move. Man, I'm getting poison mushrooms a lot. I've also been told that you can just tilt left, like... Yep. You don't even have to wait for it to go around. Eh, I like just doing the regular old thing. Letting it go around once. Oh, thank you kindly. Let's go farther downtown, shall we? Actually, I don't think... No, we don't want to go farther downtown. There are more items down there, and I have full pockets. Oh, look, yeah. Yeah, just star pieces are hidden behind stuff. I feel like that's just kind of lazy. Oh no, not again. Oh wait, this is a good time to show off the special move I got. Earth Tremor. So this special move, you basically have to press A every time you see the star. When the meter reaches there. Looks simple, but it actually is fairly tricky. Especially when you get to, like, this point. It definitely takes some practice. Yep. So this is going to damage 5 to all of them. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good for beginning game. Even though it takes two things of... Two, both of your star meter things. And hey, hey, howdy, hey, we got a Thunderbolt. You know what I'm going to do? Coops, you need HP. And I'm too lazy to go to the inn. Or rather, too cheap. 
right. We need to go back to the trouble center because there are way more people in trouble. But first... Actually, no, not first. Not first. Because I know I can lump together two side quests into one. Alright. Arfur, Goomfur, Mouse Million, let's see. Out of all these people, I'm gonna do... I'll do Mouse Million. Mouse Million here. I need some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. This is probably the... You probably get the worst reward for doing this one. But... Eh. It's easy. So, might as well. Like, you get a very bad reward for doing this. Tell you... You accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So, I want you to use shock treatment to try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. But be careful. If you hit me after I remember it, I'll forget again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, use B. I just can't remember. 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 Nope, it's not coming to me. No, indeedy. But we could definitely try again, because I'm sure I'll remember it eventually. I just can't remember. Come on, dude! There we go! Yeah, that's it! I remember now! I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Petalburg! <laughs> I'll let that tip be your reward. Now don't spend all those profits. That's a terrible way of making money. You can make way more money by grinding on enemies. <sighs> oh well. It had to be done. Alright, next up I'm doing Bomberto. This is Bomberto, and I need you to do some shopping. Please come right quick, because I'm starving. Meet me in Rogueport out at the docks. So this one is a simple one. You basically give him anything edible you have, and he'll eat it for lunch and give you, like, a few coins. So don't make it anything good. You might think, oh, well, the better I thing I give him, the more coins I make. No, he will give you the same amount of coins no matter what you give him. So give him your cheapest food item, essentially. Here he is. Listen, mate, you'll run into all sorts of trouble. Oh, nope, that's not him. That's not him. Is this him? Move it, you land lumber! Oh, huh? Oh, right, right, you took out my trouble, eh? My wife brought my lunchbox to me, but it was empty when I opened it. I'm so hungry I could eat walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me something to eat. How about, um, let's see. Ah, whatever, anything, as long as it's food. Now get to it! I brought you something to eat. Have a mushroom. Hey, that looks right tasty. Chomp nom, gromp schnop. Mmm, yum, that's hit the spot. Now here's your reward. You got 11 coins. Thanks, mate. I thought it was only 7. That's actually pretty nice of him. There's no star piece behind me. No. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Alright, I want to do... Uh, talk to this guy. Hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool! I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here! Ooh, I know! Do you want to make an investment, Mario? 
I love this music. My name's Wumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to, for, to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. I'll lend you cash. Thank you so much, you won't regret it. So basically how this works is you give Lumpy money now, and later on the game, when he comes back and finds oil, he'll give you, I think, twice the amount that you gave him? So I want to give him 200 coins. I can't remember if you get double the amount or quadruple the amount. I remember there was one time that he basically maxed out my wallet when I gave him a ton of money. Hey, you do you still have the same stuff? No, different stuff. So we've got Repel Cape, uh, which basically makes you dodge occasionally. The W Emblem, which makes Mario so close look like Wario's. Uh, I'll buy these logo. It's terrible, I know, but... I mean, I have to get the badge at some point. Oh, speaking of badges, I'm going to go down to Rogueport Sewers again. And trade in some of my star pieces that I've got for badges. I was hoping we could get all the side quests done in one half hour video, but that's not going to happen. Here you are! My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. Which badge do you want to trade for? Alright, so I've got quite a few. Okay, this is the game with Item Hog. I thought that was the first game, but no, it's not. Ooh, quick change is good, but it takes a lot. Okay. So basically my options. We've got the attack FXY, which changes your hammers and jump sound. Chill out so you can't get hit by the first strike. We already have pretty lucky. Happy flower, happy heart, happy heart P. Item hog, which makes enemies drop items more often. Heart finder, which makes enemies drop hearts more often. Enemies drop flowers more often. Peekaboo lets you see HP. Not going to get that. Quick change, which allows you to change partners in one, like, without using your whole turn. But it takes 7 BP to equip in this. Flower Saver, which drops the FP needed, and then Power Plus. I'm going to start by getting Quick Change. It's a really good badge. I'll also get the Attack FXY. It's cheap. Uh, chill Out actually can be helpful against certain enemies. Now I've got six left. <sighs> One of these three. I'll go with Item Hog, I think. Hey, guy. All right. Now we can go to badges. I'm going to equip... Hey, I thought I... S oh, that is sorted. Wait, no, it's not. It doesn't automatically sort every time you get new badges? Oh, that's dumb. All right. Like that. I'll re equip the quick cricket badge. I kind of like it. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be finishing up the side quests around Rogueport and hopefully starting the next area. Have a great day and God bless. Yeah.